today my own end 5500 watt generator is going to get a new carburetor. I run sea foam through the old one. I've taken it apart and uh, cleaned it the best I could. Uh, one of the big issues with these is they don't sell spare parts. You can buy a whole new carburetor, but you can't buy the individual jets and the seals and everything else. So I was uh, a little concerned about digging too deep into this one because it looks like it takes a special tool to remove the main jet. Um, and I didn't want to booger it up. So anyway, I bought a new carburetor. I'll install it. I'll take the old one apart. And uh, if I damage something, no loss. If I'm able to clean it up and repair it, then I'll always have a hot spare. So I ordered this from Amazon. I'll provide a link below. These are not cheap. They're about 300 bucks. It did come with uh, two new gaskets. One advantage to buying it this way is it comes with the uh, the choke, the uh, the actuator, the shutoff solenoid. Everything is already attached, so it's pretty much a plug and play. Uh, there's only a few. I think they're 10 meter, 10 millimeter bolts holding this in place. Set you up where you can see and I can work. It's already in the mid 80s. It's only March 3rd here in Florida. Look, these are two different sizes, so you don't have to wonder which wire goes to which. This is the, uh, I believe, anti-backfire solenoid, and it's keyed also. It's got a triangle at the top and flat at the bottom. Now the tricky thing on this, let me move you over temporarily. a double, I guess it's a single spring with a, a linkage assembly. So you have to be very careful how you attach this. If you notice, there's an itty bitty little pinhole where the bottom of that spring goes through and there's a little plastic grommet on this piece down here. There's also one up here. But this spring shares the same hole as the linkage on the top. It just doesn't share it at the bottom. studs stay attached 
and it just kind of rides them like rails. There's the old one removed. Spacer plate. Get a little screwdriver, try and tease that uh, old gasket out of there. Gasket, spacer back on. Whole new carburetor. hook up this bottom blank down here after I get everything in place. Bigger the two goes on the lower one, small one on the top. sent me two of this shaped gasket and if you look that it interferes with the butterfly there's the original one there's a replacement now that's not gonna work Let's see if I can tease the old gasket off the carburetor
looks better. place just to hold everything. Starting it all by hand. And I got the choke or the choke. The clutch set on this pretty low so it doesn't over torque. Manually go back and add a little more. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the breakers. And I'm just going to go ahead and prime this and make sure fuel is flowing up into the bowl. That's a good sound. Let's see what's actually in the bowl. like about one ounce of fuel. Let's go ahead and prime it again. Start up, see what happens. Go ahead and disconnect shore power. Engage the breakers. 
and he's airing out the refrigerator and freezer from our last trip, which is why the doors are open. There went one air conditioner. Bump the thermostat down. The idea now is to exercise the generator and make sure it continues operating. Conditioner is running. And I currently have 605 hours and one tenth on the generator. It's certainly running nice and smooth. Uh, I started it right around 2.30. So I'm gonna let it run for a while and come back and check on it. And uh, we'll see how it does. Okay, it's been right at two hours. Sounds like it's still running perfectly. I shut it down, hook back up to shore power. I'm going to turn off one of the air conditioners. Ooh, it's cold in here. It actually did get down to 65 in here. Okay, that one's off. Actually, I need that light so I can see what I'm doing. I'll bump this one up. Compressor just turned off. Let's see, we're at 607 hours and one tenth. Now both air conditioners are off. Okay, the 
that's all locked up. signs of any leakage. Everything looks great.